Hey gang, welcome to today's video. You're here at Tarot Nap Plants here on TarotTube YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok mostly. So let's get into this. I know I showed it off in a couple of videos because it's new and incoming and I can't wait to shuffle. So therefore, I wanted to do my very own walkthrough. So I don't have many collage decks. I really have the Muse Tarot the rosebud tarot and then i just got um a recommendation from lisa to do some work on with the beloved dead oracle that just came out so i'm still learning about the whole collage thing and coming to terms with it but this was such an amazing deal on kickstarter compared to what people pay on etsy that i felt like it was a no-brainer so, and I really knew that I wouldn't be able to manage with her other editions of the deck. Um, so when I found out she was doing a marked edition, I was really, really stoked for it. And then I did message her because I heard that the minor suit doesn't have the same descriptions as the majors. And she said that she's planning to do an oracle. And when she does her oracle, she's also going to be launching a bigger guidebook that does do all the descriptions and stuff for the minor arcana. So that's when I was like, I'm in. So hoping for the minors, but yeah. Or the bigger guidebook in the future. But, so here's the box. It's a nice, sturdy box. Plain on the inside. Just kind of like this roughing gray stuff on the sides. It's very pretty. Let's check out the guidebook quickly. And then we're going to get to the deck. So we have a cover page. Um, the Ritual Tarot. Marked Edition deck and deck structure. And then we get right into the cards. So the majors look like that. There's quite a bit of information, a decent amount. But then you get to the minors. Do, 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 the world. And then this is what you get for the minors. Oh. So it's not great not horrible but it's not great either and then a little info on the back so that's about as thick as it is you put that outside so we can focus on the cards so you'll see on the backs it's actually i just noticed that there's a snake i never noticed that before and then this Spots where the card names are move around the deck, which I didn't know until I got it in hand. So like in this one, we have King of Pentacles is right there. But then here, Two of Pentacles is down here. And then it goes back up here into the swords. So it moves a little bit on the wheel. And so that's kind of why I picked this tarot cloth. I thought it was a really good match. This is the one that came with the Lilifer tarot. So let's get right into the cards. It's not edge, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to edge it black. I think it would just go really well with the backs. So that's my plan. Now, if you're interested on a quick like non-talking walkthrough i do have it up on um my tiktok at tarot net plans okay so in this case because i know there's a couple of extra cards so this one is the fool's journey There's just so much stuff on the cards that I feel like each reading is going to be very different. I feel like each reading is going to be different things are going to jump out at me depending on the reading. Like in this one, it's the eyes. All the eyes are popping out on me. 
And that is The Fool. Here, I go right to the rainbow. And then that is The Magician. Again, the eyes are jumping out at me. So that would be doo -doo -doo, High Priestess. Um, Emperor, no, it's, yeah, the Empress. Should be Emperor. Yep. Yeah, the eyes keep popping out at me in all these cards. Hierophant. Well, this one is all about the pelvises. The lovers. Again, it's all about the eyes. I don't know, man. The eyes are like popping out. That's a chariot. Interesting. So, I mean, I feel like I definitely will pull pulling like one card at a time to read about it and really look at them because. There's just so much going on. I think this is the Lust card. And there was a tarot cloth. Because I know my friend ordered this deck. And she hasn't gotten hers yet. Because she ordered the Lust um, reading cloth. Again, I'm like noticing the eye. And that's the Hermit. Oh, the gold wheel is totally sticking out. So that should be the Wheel of Fortune. Yep. Like, look at those, like, owl eyes. To me, they look like owl eyes. And that is... Justice. This card makes me think it's a card upside down, but then that person's that way, but then that one. Must be the hanged man. Yeah, the hanged one. Again, it, for me, it's like all about the eyes. So I'm interested. That's death. Hmm. Such an interesting choice. I have so many thoughts, but like I can't really express them. Temperance. I can see that. Again, I'm going right to the eyes. And that is doo -doo 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 -doo, the devil. So I feel like because it's taking me a second to find the card on the back, I find it's not distracting at all. Because I know some people were worried, oh, well, you know, it's not supposed to be named. But I don't find it, like, easy. Like, if I was shuffling this, there would no, there'd be no way for me to notice that. Unless I was, like, actively looking for it. That must be the tower. Yeah, because the names on the cards are so tiny. Oh, that moon, that must be the moon. That moon card's really sticking out. Oh, no, that's the star card. This must be the moon. Yeah. But so pretty, right? But, like, look at how insignificant. Because there's, like, spots of writing throughout the deck, it's not that noticeable. And because it moves, you just, it's it's really well done. I'm really surprised at how well I like it. See, the eyes again, man. That's the sun. That is judgment. That is one creepy look in judgment. I gotta say. And the world. All right, now we're getting into our minors. So I'm guessing this is the wand suit. It automatically looks a little less busy. 
which I appreciate. Well, this one's getting busier. Yeah, I definitely appreciate that it's a little less busy, cause especially if you were going to pull a whole bunch of cards, like three, four, five cards, I feel like that would be a lot if they were all as busy as the majors. Oh, that's pretty direct. So I definitely like the minors. Yeah, they're a little less. Well, that's a little much. What's that? That's the Knight of Wands. So yeah, definitely the wand suit. It must be the King of Wands. Interesting. Again, I'm being drawn to the eyes in this deck. Isn't that weird? I wonder what I'll be drawn to the next time I read with it. Ooh, that's a pretty crystal in a cup. So it must be the cup suit. Yep. Yeah, two of cups right there. And you have two per people. So they're definitely making the numerology and the minors work, which is good. Because I thought it wasn't going to. Like you can see, there's three cups. Or, is there four cups? Oh, there's four. That's the four cups. So you definitely have to pay attention. I feel like this is also something you need to sit with. This is not like a fast one card pull deck. I feel like this is a like maybe pull one or two cards and you sit with it and think about it. I don't think I would definitely use this to read for other people with. I think this is definitely more of a personal read. Oh, that's interesting. The little butterflies. This is a really cool deck, and I'm interested to shuffle it and pull a card and see what that has to tell me. All right, we must be in our sword suit now. Oh, let's just double check. Where is it? Yes, Ace of Swords. See how they move? And I do love this blue smoke. It's super cool. Again, the eyes are everywhere, man. Hmm. Again with the eyes. Hmm. I wonder what I'm missing. I feel like that's what it's telling me is to open my eyes that I'm missing something. It's cool, all the different swords or knives. There. Oh, and that person's, like, cutting their back. Oh, stabbing themselves in the back. Oh, God. That's just... Oh. And look at all the... Like, I, oh. This is giving me so many feels with the, like, real people and the real knives. Ooh, that's giving me a lot of feels. Like, look at that eye. So intense, guys. The eyes are just popping out everywhere. Like, that's, that's like where exactly my eyes go is to the eyes in the card. Okay, and now we have our pentacle suit. They're still haunting me. Well, that's really cool. I like that. I'm actually enjoying this more than I thought I would. To be honest, I was like so put off by the amount the deck cost. Just because in Canadian dollars with shipping, it was a lot. Um, but the Kickstarter made it way more affordable. So this was honestly a deck that I really, really took a chance on. I was just like hoping I would like it because collage is not my preferred style. But I'm really glad I took the chance because I'm liking it way more than I thought I would. Like, watching a few flip-throughs, I kind of paid attention, but I didn't want to pay attention too hard because I was watching them after I did the Kickstarter. And I wanted to have this first impression. But I didn't think I would actually like it, to be honest. I, I kind of assumed it was a waste of my money, to be honest with you. And I would go through it and be like, eh, no, goodbye. But it turns out... 
I really like this jack and I think it's going to be something for me to sit with. And we have our king. So something I did want to try is seeing about finding a pairing. I only have two decks that I picked out that I could think of off the top of my head that I thought might work okay. So, one of them is my Mystical Shaman's Pocket Oracle. We'll just take a seat. It may be terrible. I just thought maybe. And this one has reverse reversals in it because it's like in the guidebook. Like you're really supposed to do reversals. And I'm not a reversal person, but I did in this case. So let's see how this is going to go. I don't hate it. They're both kind of busy. But I like the fact that they've both got a lot of color. And I do think that the, like, simplicity of this being a uniform style with this being mismatched does work well. Because I think there's elements of this style within this deck. Yeah, I was kind of guessing, but I think that's actually a really good pairing. I could totally see myself using these together. Okay, I want to try another pairing. But that definitely is going to work. And that was a total guesswork. So I'm super happy about that. My other pairing. My homemade bag. Is my Threads of Fate Shadow Edition. I have this in three editions. I have the Lumen. Like the pinky one. And then I also have it in the rose one. Like the black and gold. Okay. I thought the simplicity of this and then the golden accents with the like dark background might be a good match to help calm the reading because I find the, the Mystical Shaman Pocket Oracle is quite busy like I do feel like that is a busier spread and I thought this might be a calmer spread. And I think I am correct. I think that they do go together. And this oracle definitely calms down the busyness of the tarot. Yeah, I think that's really good. So that would be Death with Ancestors in Shadow. Oh, geez. Warrior and transmute with temperance. Hmm. And that's the devil, right? Let me double check. I think that's the devil. Yeah. Yeah, that's the devil with take risks and paradox. Hmm. Ooh. Death, Tower, and Sage. Yeah, this is definitely a good pairing to make a calmer reading. And I like I think that the black and gold edition would look pretty too next to it. And even, actually, you know what? I think any of my Thread the Fade Oracles would look nice to this. I think just depending on the aesthetic I'm going for, lighter colors, darker colors, and like black on black. 
I think any three of my Threads of Fate oracles would go really well with this. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a really, really good pairing. Oh, I'm so glad I found some pairings to go with this because I was worried what the hell I would pair with this. So I'm super glad that's worked out. So yeah, that is that. I guess I was going to shuffle it because I really want to shuffle it. But honestly, I kind of want to do another walkthrough on my own time looking at the cards. So I'm not sure I want to shuffle it right this second. Maybe I'll upload a short of my first shuffle with the deck. Because I think I want to edge it too before I shuffle it. So maybe I'll try to do that this weekend. Okay, guys, that's it for me. That is my Ritual Tarot Marked Edition from Tierra May. And I'm super stoked and excited about it. So until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell here at Tarot Not Plants on YouTube, TarotTube, Instagram, and TikTok mostly. Until next time, bye, guys.